The COVID-19 outbreak has brought huge challenges to our communities. It's become clear, though, that certain groups have been affected more than others, particularly those from black and ethnic minority groups, disabled people, women, the elderly, and those who are living in poverty. In other words, the people are already experiencing social and economic disadvantage. In March of this year, I announced new work to safeguard equality and human rights in Wales, including the socio-economic duty. And this will affect some public bodies who will need to consider how to protect the most vulnerable people in our society when they make decisions about their priorities and the services they deliver. The duty is extremely important for future generations for our young people. It's a way to level the playing field for those who are suffering socio-economic inequalities and will help to create a more equal Wales. It will also be a really important part of planning Wales' recovery from the impact of COVID-19, making sure that we support the most vulnerable people in our communities and build back better. The socio-economic duty gives us an opportunity to do things differently in Wales. It puts tackling inequality at the heart of decision making and will build on the good work public bodies are already doing. I'm delighted to announce that the duty will take effect from the 31st of March 2021. The public bodies who will deliver the duty need time to understand what it means for them and to think about how to plan their services around tackling inequality. There's guidance on our website to help public bodies to prepare and I'm looking forward to working with them, all of them, to help build a more equal Wales and to change things for the better for the people in Wales who need our help most.